Hey everybody, it's Rich and Mike here with this week's What's Hot. And so we're going to dive right in this week. We've got some cool baits from Kitech in. Uh, going to be great for saltwater, freshwater, a couple of different styles. All types of water. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So Mike, get us started here. You're a big fan of these uh, Kitech Max Hard um, Swing baits. Impact, the four inch style. Um, so these are their saltwater version. So they're going to be a little bit more durable than the standard um, Kitech. Uh, what I love about these, rigging them on a small jig head, um, you can drop shot them for bass. But my favorite way is a lighter jig head for speckled trout, mm -hmm. puppy drum, rockfish, oh, yeah. um, any type of fish that you're going to fish a paddle tail for in the bay or freshwater anything you're going to be doing we have them in a slew of different colors the, one of the some of the better colors that they yeah. are out there like your your standard white your electric chicken your nuclear chicken your root beer and then your um firecracker firecracker it's a good one um so we got all your cover color spectrums covered um like i said they're fantastic now they're scented with um a squid scent which is a little bit different than your standard other plastic you usually have like a, a fish type scent I'm actually a big fan of the scent. I feel like fish hold on better. Oh, absolutely. Um, the action on these are phenomenal with the rib ribs, that small little tail, which has a really thin um, action or thin part of the tail, which gives it a lot of action. These are going to be great. I cannot wait to fish those. Yeah, those are going to be a really, really fun bait to fish from the boat, from the shore, you know, all those species that you talked about. That's definitely one to have in the tackle box. Um, moving on to a little bit larger bait. So we've got these five inch the uh, easy shiners easy shiners so it's a different profile a little bit thinner as far as on the top and bottom but it's got a wider um body similar boot tail we have them in a bunch of different colors and sizes this is one of my favorite colors it just looks very 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 good um still has that um that squid scent this one's actually the stronger squid scent um we have them in the like the um the, the sight flash the blue back herring uh the ghost rainbow the what does that say copperfield copperfield like again all your different um color spectrums to rig them on a jig head uh anything like that you can even troll light tackle troll them i yeah. know some guys like to just throw a, like a one ounce head behind on a light spinning rod and throw it behind their boat and just troll around those will work great yeah. what do you got there well we got the eight inch version so if you're looking for a little bit bigger bait for the, the bigger stripers as the season wears on some and of those fish bigger fish migratory the rips fish in the power yeah, plant yeah, those bigger fish move in instead of this using a nice tail it's going to be great um eight inch plastic that you're going to rig like you can rig on a jig head um but i would recommend if you're going to rig on a jig head typically depending on the style of jig head i like to cut the nose off just a, just a hair just so it fits a little bit more flush up against the jig head but these are going to as you can see that i'm not even moving my hand. Look at that tail just yeah, continuously move. Action. And to your point about the rigging, if you don't cut the tips of these off, with a lot of the jig heads that we have on the market, they've got those really, really big um, like lead keeps to hold your bait they on. They split plastic. They'll tear the plastic. And so you do want to cut a little bit of that nose off to give you a little wider profile. So when it slides over top, it's not going to tear your bait out. Mm -hmm. It just makes the bait last longer. Plus, like you said, Mike, it's going to be more flush to and the back more, of the head. More natural. It just looks a little nicer, a little nicer mm -hmm. presentation. That that two extra seconds to cut that off and put it on, that really, really does make a big difference. Remember, don't go and bite these like I've done before with some like the, the scented plastic. Yeah, you gotta you bite gotta it, be you're careful. Like, yeah, it leaves a nasty yeah. taste in your mouth. Not the healthiest yeah. thing. So yeah, yeah, just a pair of scissors or a knife cuts it really well. Some of the baits you can even kind of just tear, but yeah. a pair of scissors does what the job. What are we going to rig some of these plastics with? Well, so our favorites, right? GI jigs. These things are fantastic. Thank you, LJ over at GI. We got some new sizes in and a few couple in a couple different colors. We got some 316s with a two odd hook and then some quarter ounce with a three odd hook. Now these are going to be great for speckled trout, stripers, um, uh, puppy drum, things like that in the shallower water rigged on like one of these Kitex here that's going to match up perfectly with that uh, to throw you can throw them under popping cork just about everything well you know I like using these lighter heads especially that quarter ounce on a bait of this size these would work really well for a top water situation where you've got those breaking fish and instead of throwing a popper i'm going to rig something like this and that quarter ounce head it's going to, gonna, it's going to sink but it's going to sink a lot slower than the typical half or three quarter ounce that we would be throwing when we're in those open open parts of the bay so you get all those fish breaking you get the birds crashing i'm a big fan of having some of these lightweight jig heads to let them slowly sink through that school and get down into the meat of the fish rather than just the fish on the surface mm -hmm. so these are great for shallow water but they're also great for breaking fish and it, those hooks will hold up to a massive striper so oh, there's no question sure. about that yeah 
So we've talked about some of the Kytec stuff. We've got another bait company in that's really, really cool. Rabid Baits. Rabid Baits. And so these all have fox fur in them, which it's is really neat. Very, very unique um, design. So talk about this little goby pattern. So we have a little have. goby pattern here. It looks like a little rocker with a little mohawk going on. Some <laughs> little wings coming off the end. But these in the water are unbelievable yeah. with the action. You don't have to move your rod at all. And this hair with the motion of the water is just going to undulate and move around. And it gives it a ton of action. Great for largemouth bass. Um, I know you said you're going to, you can't wait to use like the little crawl yeah, pattern on like a Ned rig up this in the gunpowder. Absolutely. And the lower, the, the, the lower part of the gunpowder oh, where we got a little small mouth around, this bait's going to be phenomenal. Like you said, you pop this, you put a little jig head on it, you let it sink to the bottom. You just give it that subtlest twitch. And just a thing, little twitch and this thing pops up and then it sits there and there's that hair just moves in the water just ever so slightly and the, the bass especially small mouth and large mouth they like to follow that bait and they'll just sit there and stare at it and they're waiting for it to do that one thing that one little twitch uh -huh. that triggers them to, to take that bait and so this added hair is just really going to make a, a, a big big difference this is a little ned rig that they have it's got the fur on the back and we have these in a bunch of different colors so we've got this uh, natural brown color we've got the the green pumpkin with the uh, chartreuse a hair clean, a clear type one yep clear with the white black and blue and we have like their their worm their bass worm style so that's going to be cool it's almost like a sanko you can um even put it on a jig head you can texas rig it um with a uh, weedless hook um and then like you said that tail is just going to be oh yeah boop, 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 boop. yeah that's going to be boop, phenomenal boop, boop. action in the water and a slew of different colors so oh, speaking yeah. of snake heads these are going to work great for snake heads oh yeah as well as our anglers snakehead um, float here yeah this float we make a ton of these these work really really well they're made here in-house by our pro staff and so it's a pretty simple rig it's about three feet of line you've got a slide float which is really important when I go to cast it's down by the hook but I don't want it to stay down there so, so you're not gonna get that helicopter effect like I'm sure if you've used a bobber you've uh, an experience where you throw it out and you're bobber and your lure or your minnow or whatever to go yeah exactly so with having get... all that weight down at the end you avoid all of that and how do i dictate the depth that this is going to go well, we put little sinker uh, bobber stops on these so you can adjust if you're fishing in shallow water i slide that the bobber stop down and so when this hits the water we've got that little minnow on there that'll hit and it won't go any farther but if i go into deeper water i just slide this farther up and then that'll allow that hook to sink down even farther. Mm -hmm. So I can adjust it in the different depths of water. And that's great for this time of year because snakeheads become a little bit more lethargic as the co uh, colder water, yep. um, be, or the water becomes more cold. Um, so if they're not hitting lures that much, throw a minnow, a big bull minnow on that, and yep. that's gonna work great for snakeheads. Absolutely, a handful of these and a pint of minnows and you're good to go. And you can use these for other fish as well. We designed them for snakehead, but you can use them for other fish as well if you're fishing in that shallow water. This is a great system. It's, it's really, really easy to use. So definitely have some of those in the tackle box. And now all these lures that we're showing are gonna be great to throw on this baitcaster. So we've got a bunch of baitcasters in stock now. This one just came in the door. It's from Lou's. It's the KD, uh, KVD KD LFS. LFS. Mm -hmm. Uh, 10 bearings in this one. It's got 20 pounds max drag. It's pretty, that's, pretty that's, strong. That's and it's a very drag. fast reel. Very, very fast. So it's 8 2 to 1 gear ratio, and it retrieves 35 inches per turn. So one turn of the handle, you're bringing in 35 inches. That's a line. lot. It's a pretty good pretty, pretty good. Great uh, for the snake retrieval. heads if you're throwing frogs. You want to get that, if you cast out and you miss one, you want to get that lure right back in. You just crank it in, retrieve a lot of line, get it in, make another cast. Yep. It's great for that. Baitcasters are intimidating. A lot of people have never used them before. Many of the members of our staff use baitcasters mm -hmm. on a regular basis. So if you guys have any questions about how to use them, the braking systems, how all that stuff works, please feel free to stop by and let us uh, give you a little demo on those. We've got a lot of them in stock to choose from, so definitely stop by for that. Next, we got some alcohol, because it wouldn't be what's hot without some alcohol. That's right, absolutely. Got to cover all, all yep. departments so, of the store. Local brewery here in Maryland, Dewclaw. We have the Pastryarchy, uh, which is a... Uh, dark imperial irish style stout beer uh these are limited this is a limited edition so it's gonna knock it once they're gone they're gone they're not yep. available all year round yep. um as well as the hop tarts <laughs> no i didn't say pop with a p it's hop tarts that's a pretty clever name so this is going to be a um double ipa with a slight um essence of berries so it's actually brewed with raspberries blueberries and strawberries um so it's going to be a light flavored um, buried IPA, double IPA. It's going to be a really good one. I can't wait to try that. That's... Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And then speaking of another Maryland um, thing going on here, another uh, local winery, Bordy Vineyards. Uh, we have the, um, this is a red 
uh, wine. Uh, Lindsay, how do you pronounce that? It's a blend of Chamberson and Merlot. Chamberson and Merlot. Yeah. It's a sweet wine, but not overly sweet. Right. Um, right. And it's cool because it's got your ducks on it. It's part of their Chesapeake Icons um, um, style wine. So yeah, that's the pretty, collection, yeah. It's pretty cool to have some some mallards mallards on the merlot that's right. duck mm -hmm. seasons it's, 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 right it's right around the corner right around the corner that's right and so speaking of things to if you're gonna walk the bird dog that's right um so we got some the chillier weather going on here we have some nice flannels by our one of our favorite companies pure lure great looking flannels great feeling flannels um they're just super soft we have a couple different cool colors i'm a huge fan of flannels um, yeah, these, these are super nice, cozy flannel. They look cool. Um, great for this little bit chillier fall weather that we right. have coming on. Yeah, I love these two colors. It's, it does it has a nice feel to it. You can definitely feel it's going to keep you nice and warm. Good layering piece as well. So we're going to close out with some combos. Oh, we got some more clothing. I'm going right. to move on to the yeah. Let's do the clothing. Yeah. To match your with your pure fluor flannel, we have some. New addition to our extra tough lineup, the women's and men's in the nice leather finish. Um, I do believe they redesigned these, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we have the women's here, which is cool. So it's got kind of like a fish scale kind of pattern on the back. Um, rubber with the um, nice leather look to it. Pretty cool. Everybody loves extra toughs. I know I do. Um, cool different one. You can. It's a casual yet working boot yeah yeah these are snazzy enough that you can wear them with a nice pair of jeans and you know, go out to the grocery store and it doesn't look like you're it's wearing it screams water i boot. fish yet i like to look classy that's right that's right exactly so, so now we'll move on to the combos i'm very okay. excited about the combos so we've got a new rod in to us from akuma so this is the stc spiral carbon technology rod Really, really nice rod. Very, very lightweight. Unbelievably light. Yeah, this is going to be a great trolling rod. Um, EVA foam down at the bottom, EVA foam grip up front. It does have an aluminum gimbal in the bottom, aluminum reel seat with the double locking rings, oversized hood. It even matches the SLX reel. It to looks the great. Key. It looks Fantastic. great. Fantastic. Yeah, we're really excited to have these in. We're going to be making a bunch of these combos. They're going to be a display in the store. So definitely come by and check these out. And I cannot emphasize enough about how light these unreal. things are. You think yeah. of a trolling rod and really you're like, oh my God, it weighs so much. That is yeah. unbelievably light. Yeah, it's a big complaint that a lot of people have about trolling is how heavy the gear is. And so now that we're making lighter and lighter rods, it's definitely a nice feature to have. Um, so switching gears, heading from inshore to offshore, We've got. Some, we've talked a little bit about these. We're starting to put together some combos. We've got the Tullus PX from Shimano. This is the updated version, and we're starting to pair these up with some TLD uh, two-speed reels. Um, this one's spooled with hollow core braid on the bottom with 200 yards of mono on top. So this is set up for any of the tuna that you'd want to fight off the, the mid-Atlantic. Um, this is going to be a great combo. It's at a great price. Um, again. Really, really, really lightweight light. rod. So um, plenty durable. It's a strong rod. It's got a great action to it, but physical weight, super light in hand. So when you're doing that stand-up fighting, you're not wearing yourself out with just your gear, which is really nice. So definitely come by and, and give these a look. Um, I think you'll you'll really like them for the uh, for the offshore application. So um, I think that does it That's for us. Do I don't think there's no much else right now. So we look forward to seeing you guys next week uh, for what's hot. And good luck. Have fun out there. Good luck and have fun.